Grim the Cunning sought to ransom Thor's stolen hammer for Freya's hand, presenting Odin with a rare opportunity. Thrym's palace was in Jotunheim, and only giants knew the way. By agreeing to the marriage, they'd have to escort Freya back to their realm. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back the Olnir and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull, followed by every other giant present in the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foothold in Jotunheim would become his own. And oh, did he ever revenge himself upon Freya? What is the point of this story, Ed? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. For Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. So look. Here we go. I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably.
Nickelheim. Not sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. <sighs> what is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. What is that stuff? Weird. Yes. A strange material. Let's see. I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. There's something written here. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible! Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous. Yeah! <laughs> 
looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Nibelheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I could put them to all sorts of use. Now don't be a stranger. Valdi sure did a number on this place. Not that there was much to see before. Still, the echoes remain, ready for plunder. You don't have to run off on my account. Mist is thinner up here. That's nice. Is that the armor? It looks kind of run down. Can you wear it? No. It is too small and too old. We will bring it back to the dwarf.
Is that what I think it is? Useless armor? Useless? Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days, but I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop. And the three round tears, of course. But, might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. So what brings you around, friends? You don't need to make excuses to say hello.